Action for Rural Women's Empowerment, Aruwe, is a non-profit, non-governmental organization working with marginalized groups of people, especially the rural women, youth, and children, particularly orphans and vulnerable children. Currently, Aruwe operates in Chiwoga, Chankwanzi, Wakiso, Mpiji, and Sembawale districts, focusing on promoting women, youth, child rights, and empowerment. Chankwanzi district has one of the highest occurrences of land rights violations. These typically range from evictions, land grabbing, multiple land ownerships, as well as limited protection of women in households concerning land use and control. Arua works with rural women farmers so much and land is a resource of production. So because the farmers kept on saying that there is, they are facing land rights violations, we sat together and discussed about the different solutions that we could come up with to address such a challenge. Uh, we are trying to see that uh, all these people get the, the ownership on their what? Their bibanja. Uh, because now they have the bibanja, but without ownership. Most people in this region are unaware of available national land instruments to protect the citizens from violations. Most of these violations happen on Milo land system where they have dual ownership between the landlords and the tenants. Yes, so as a rule, we are, we are falling into the national, pass, the national indicators that look at, have, uh, at security of tenure whereby people are supposed to have registration on their land. They are able to access these documents and this helps them to ensure that they are secure on their land. In the current law, both the landlord and the tenants have rights over land. This is the cause of the conflicts of land in this region. <laughs> Okuria, Changkwanzi also has public land and the leasehold tenure system where the tenants are required to do land registration and get titles from five years up to 99 years. Uh, Chankwan's district has uh, land of two tenures, Milo land and public land. So Milo land is actually land which is uh, owned in, at individual level, whereas public land is land owned by the government and available to to everybody to own the title. We are interested in knowing in whose name that title is registered. So uh, should we discover that uh, there is somebody who is claiming ownership or a right on land and probably this person doesn't hold a title, we actually advise them to look for the person who is registered in that land, the land owner. Most of the people in this area have limited knowledge on land registration. This greatly limits their ability to fully utilize the entitlements provided for in the law. 
what do we have in the future? You know, initially leases were being given out without carrying out due diligence. Is the land you are giving out occupied by other people? Do we have disputes over that land? Is the land encumbered? But today, the system is such that we send our district staff surveyor to make due diligence to ensure that that land is free of any encumbrance or any dispute. We do not allow people to be chased away in the mercy. Priority is given to people who are occupying effectively the land on which they are, such that we are encouraging them to apply for ownership, to obtain leases. But that one is only applicable to public land. In Changkwanzi, most people are farmers, with their main resource being land. Ensuring that they are secure on this land will not only engage in production, but will save their very livelihoods and consequently help keep their families intact. Obutuze kutakalino, eranga wendi, kinyambi ebulunchi, kubanga luli, naringa, ndi mkwela rekiriza, omuntu ansuza, nga simutegeira, atewe ya jana hatu jira mubukambwe, na ewe namalo ukulaba anti atena fuka mkwano guenga mazo kwegula, chanyamba kubanga kolera kebi intu biangabi yonabi enjagara. Tuoruwayo newe mavu de mblamu buenseen, abana bangitiba inza kubata ata ganyizivwa, Obo kusendewa, obo kulachiva, sigala wo, nga biba nanyini, chintuwecho. Kati munguno emiso mezi genze nga bazi tambuza. Awa abantu wa funidechi, kareji. Abantu wa funide kareji, yoko lachi, yoko tandi, yoko lachi, yoko lachi, Today people are aware of their rights, they are sensitized. They know what they are supposed to do when it comes to land issues.